Quick chat. Are you awake? Hurry up! See anything yet? Ew, it's so icky! And I'm here with Sky and baby Jack Jack at the pool. They just had a really fun day of swimming. And now it's time for them to take a nap and relax. Oh, look! There's the babysitter, Mr. Incredible. Hi there, Jack Jack and Sky. You two babies were so good today during your play date. But since you swim the whole day, now it's time to relax and take a nice long nap. But before we go to sleep, let's have our baby bottles. One for Sky and one for Jack Jack. There, all done. Okay, boys and girls, give me a big thumbs up if you want Sky and Jack Jack to get a special toy surprise after their nap. Okay, it's a deal. You two babies can have this when you wake up. It's a brand new unicorn poopsie slime surprise toy. And it's all yours when you wake up, as long as you're good babies and take a nice long nap. Naps are important. They make you strong like me, Mr. Incredible, the strongest superhero ever. I'll leave your surprise toy right here. And when you wake up, you can play with it. Now, how about a lullaby to go to sleep? Hush, little superheroes, don't say a word. Daddy's gonna buy you a unicorn slime. And if that unicorn slime isn't fun, Daddy's gonna buy you an LOL surprise. Oh, I think it's working. They're asleep. Perfect. This is a good time for me to sneak away and take care of a few superhero chores. I'll be back in a little bit to check on these two. But I know they'll be good babies and stay right here. toy? You'll get us in trouble! Jack Jack, if you don't put that away, then we won't get to play it after nap time! Put that back Jack Jack, please! Mr. Incredible is going to be so mad! He said to leave it there! Come on, please! Oh no! Where did he go? I can't believe he did it again! Okay, if I know Jack-Jack, there is only one place that he would have taken that toy. And I better go get him before it's too late! Jack-Jack, come back! Jack-Jack! Check on my two sleeping babies. Sky's asleep. And wow, even Jack Jack's asleep. Just like I left them. These two babies are the best ever. They always listen to me just like good boys and girls. And they never do anything naughty. I'm going to let them sleep just a little longer since they had such a busy day in the pool. It's time to do more superhero things. I'll be back in a little bit to wake them up and give them their surprise toy. It 
was close. But lucky for us, Mr. Incredible thought we were asleep. We might not be so lucky next time, though. So here's the plan. You're going to stay here, and I'm going to go search for the toy. Okay? You promise, Jack-Jack? I'll be right back. Stay here, and I'll be back with the surprise toy in no time. <laughs> oh, no. I shouldn't be doing this. But I have to save the toys. All right. I gotta remember my swimming lessons. Come on. Remember what Suma taught me. One, two, three, jump! Sky has to find the toy that Jack-Jack put in the pool. Come on, Sky, hurry up! See anything yet? You got it! Now you just gotta take it back to Jack Jack. Jack Jack, I found it! Look, I found the surprise toy! We did it, we did it! Now we just gotta hurry and get back in bed! Come on, lay down and pretend you're asleep! Mr. Incredible could be here any minute now! Wow, they're still sleeping! What good babies! And it's almost time for the toys! But wait, where's the toy? Oh, there it is! How did it get over there? I hope a villain didn't try to steal it! Oh well, time to wake up the kids so they can have their surprise toy! Sky! Jack-Jack! Come on, time to wake up! <laughs> Oh, there you are, good babies. Hope you guys enjoyed your nap. Are you ready for your surprise toy now? Here you go. Okay, I'll let you guys play with it. I'll be back in a little bit with the snack. Now we can't wait to see what's inside this surprise toy. It's a unicorn poopsie slime toy with 10 magic surprises inside. We start by unrolling it here. Wow, look at them all. I can't wait to see what is first! We have unicorn food, unicorn magic, unicorn mystery surprise scent, and even a magic spoon! There are more surprises inside the container! Wow! What is all of this? Let's find out! First off, we have our Poopsie Slime Mixing Cup. It looks like a soda cup. Then, we have a measuring cup to see how much water to put in it. And what's next? Our Unicorn Poop Slime Holder where we can keep our slime when we're done. That is awesome! But we still have lots of stuff to open! Time to make the slime! First ingredient is a unicorn food! In you go! Now we add water! Now, what could be the next ingredient for a unicorn poop slime? The surprise scent! This will make the slime smell extra delicious! Add a few drops of this perfume. But we still have work to do! The last ingredient makes the unicorn poop all glittery! It's the unicorn magic! We mix it in with the magic spoon! Mix, mix, mix! That is so much fun! Now the slime will activate! Ew! It's so icky! And really fun! turning all glittery! Now we're all done! Look what we have made! Our very own unicorn poopsie slime! It looks amazing! But I can't wait to put it in the slime holder! It looks kind of like a hamburger! Wow! It's so stretchy and ooey and gooey! You've been giving your babysitters a hard time lately, so I want you to be a very good boy today, so this can be our babysitter for a very long time! 
Will you be a good boy for daddy? <laughs> okay, I'll bring the babysitter in now. Hello, Mr. Incredible. And oh, look at Jack-Jack. What a cutie pie. I love babies so much. They're so sweet and adorable. And Jack-Jack, you're the cutest of them all. Aw, isn't that nice? Jack-Jack, this new babysitter already likes you. He just moved into town and he can't wait to get to know everyone. That's right, especially this little Jack-Jack. We're going to be best friends. Okay, Romeo, I'm going to head out now. Just remember to feed Jack-Jack and take him to the potty. Okay, Mr. Incredible, have an incredible day. He's finally gone. Okay, Jack-Jack, listen closely. Here's what is going to happen. You're going to be a good boy and do exactly what I tell you to do. If I do a good job, then your dad will teach me how to be a superhero. And if I learn the secrets of a superhero, then I can take over the world. Ha 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 ha, this is my greatest plan ever. So first off, I need to feed you. Stay here while I go to get your bottle. <laughs> ah, ah, I got it. Whoa, this sure is a big bottle for a baby. Okay, you be a good boy and drink this bottle. What's wrong, Jack-Jack? You have to have your bottle, or else your dad will think I'm a good babysitter. Now time to drink your bottle. Hey, wait! Where did the bottle go? Jack-Jack, did you do this? Hey, now Jack-Jack is gone. Where did you go, silly baby? I don't have time for hide and seek. I need you here to babysit you. Oh, no. I better find him. Oh no, there's Jack-Jack. He's throwing his bottle in the pool. Oh, he's such a silly baby. Hey Jack-Jack, there you are. Did you just throw your bottle down the slide? Why did you do that? Don't you remember that you have to listen to whatever I tell you to do? <laughs> now I have to jump into the pool and find his bottle. While I do that, you better go back to the bedroom and wait for me. Here I go. One, two, three, whee! Yuck! I hate swimming. And I don't like getting my awesome hair cut wet. But I have to find Jack-Jack's bottle or else Mr. Incredible won't teach me any of his superhero secrets. Here he goes. I know I can find it. The bottle has to be in the pool somewhere. Where is it? Oh, is that it? Yes, I found it! Ugh, this swimming isn't very fun. I finally did it. Phew, that was close. Now, Jack-Jack, that wasn't very nice at all. You can't just do that. Do you promise to be a good baby from now on? <laughs> now, have your bottle like a good boy. <laughs> Ah, uh, that should be enough. Now it's time to see if you need a burp. Burp, burp, burp. <coughs> Whoa, that's the loudest baby burp I've ever heard. Now, what's next? Ugh, what is that smell? Yuck. I think Jack Jack needs to use the potty. All these superhero secrets better be worth all this work. Okay, Jack Jack, here we are. We're at the potty. All you have to do is sit down there on the seat. Then when you're all done, you press the button to flush the potty. Can you do that for me? <coughs> no? Jack-Jack, you have to. Your daddy says you have to use the potty. And remember, you have to listen to me. Hey, Jack-Jack, what is this? Why do I have a diaper on? Wait, you turned me into a baby? <coughs> I'm not a baby. I don't want to use the potty. Turn me back. Turn me back now! Ugh, that was awful! And it wasn't very funny, Jack-Jack. I'm not a baby. You're a baby and you're supposed to use the potty. Now take a seat. Oh no, where did the potty go? You're doing this again, Jack-Jack. I don't like hide and seek. Oh no. Now I have to go find Jack-Jack in the potty before Mr. Incredible returns. <laughs> there is Jack Jack again pushing his potty into the pool. His 
making it really hard for Romeo to babysit. I wonder if Romeo can save the party. Jack, Jack, how many times do I have to tell you to stop disappearing? And what did you do? Did you put something into the pool again? <laughs> You're a potty? Oh no! Now I have to go into the pool and get your potty! You're not being a very good boy today! <laughs> now I have to go swimming again! And he knows that I don't like swimming! My hair is going to be super messy! Hmm, it has to be close! Where are you, potty? There it is! Finally! I got it! I got it, Jack Jack! Here's your potty! Wait, Jack Jack? Where's Jack Jack? Don't tell me he's hiding again! Now I'll never learn superhero secrets! Mr. Incredible will be here any minute now and Jack Jack left again! He probably went to the pool! Where are you? I'll find you soon! <laughs> Where did he go? I know he's around here somewhere. He always goes to the pool. Jack, Jack, where are you? <laughs> there you are. You shouldn't be in the pool. Get out of here right now. You're going to get me in trouble. Come on, Jack, Jack, let's go. No more pool time. We're going home to wait for your dad. All right, Jack, Jack, we made it back before your dad. Now no more pool until tomorrow. It's getting late and it's time for bed. Your dad said it's bedtime. Now getting bed, Jack Jack. Rock a bye, baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. Ah, he's asleep. Finally, he's asleep. Phew, that sure was a long day. But it's finally over now. And Mr. Incredible is almost here. There he is. Hey, Romeo, I'm back. I'm so glad you're here. Wow, I see Jack Jack is sound asleep. He looks like he has so much fun. Great job, Romeo. Thanks. Now the job is done. You can tell me about your secrets. No, not yet, Romeo. You did such a great job, but I have a few more things left to do. So I'll be back later. But since you and Jack Jack have so much fun, I'll let you watch them for a little while longer. When I get back, I'll tell you all about my superhero secrets. What? No! I can't take babysitting him for a second longer! I don't need to know superhero secrets that bad! I'm out of here! What? Romeo, come back! Aw, oh, Jack Jack, it looks like you scared off another babysitter. I have everything prepared. I have my stapler, my glue, and my notebook. Or, at least I did have it. Where's my notebook? Oh no, I have to find it. I hope Jack Jack doesn't have it. He was using it as a coloring book. I better go find him. Jack Jack, I'm late for school. Do you have my notebook? I knew it, Jack Jack. That's my notebook, silly baby. You know I need my notebook for school. This is the first assignment of the year and I'm excited to finish with teacher Etna. I have to be the best in class. Oh, I have to go. Be back to play later, Jack-Jack. Bye. <laughs> Don't worry, buddy. Your brother will be back after school. Ah, I made it to the bus stop just in time. I have everything I need. I have my glue, my stapler, and my notebook. Teacher Edna is going to be so happy. I haven't been doing very good in school lately. So she's going to be so surprised I'm ready just like I promised her. Oh, wait. I forgot something. I forgot my lunch! I had a tasty hamburger ready to take with me! Wait, I think I can go get it and still make it in time for the bus! I'll be right back! <laughs> hey, what's Jack Jack doing here? He's supposed to be in his room! Jack Jack, are you supposed to take Dash's school supplies? <laughs> I don't think so. Ha! Huh, I made it back with my delicious burger and the bus is still here. Wait, where did my stuff go? It was all right here. Oh no, the bus is leaving and I don't have my stuff. This isn't good. 
I guess I have to go to school without any school supplies at all. Oh well, here we go. There's Dash's school supplies. Jack Jack took them all. Where are you going, Jack Jack? Oh no! He's throwing all of Dash's stuff in the pool. That's not a good baby brother, Jack Jack. <laughs> Now all of Dash's school supplies are wet And he doesn't know where they are It looks like Edna is getting ready to teach her art class Today is my big day in art class This is the most important art project of the year One of my students, Dash, hasn't been a very good student lately So I have a special project ready just for him He's been making a lot of excuses lately so I hope he brought his three items. Let's see if he has them. Oh, here he comes now. Hi, teacher Edna. Good morning, Dash. Where are all of your school supplies? Well, um, that's a funny story, Edna. Um, I did have them. I had everything ready at the bus stop. I left for just a minute to get my lunch. And when I got back, it was all gone. Wait, what? What do you mean it was all gone? Yeah, it was all gone. I just turned around and it was all gone. That's the truth. Dash, that doesn't make any sense at all. Last week you said that a raccoon ate your homework. And a week before that, you said Syndrome stole your homework. This time I'm telling the truth. My stuff just disappeared. But I think I know what happened. I think Jack-Jack took it. Jack-Jack wasn't happy that I had to leave and couldn't play with him. He must have taken all of my stuff at the bus stop. I swear, I'm not lying. I bet it was Jack-Jack. Hmm, well, we'll see. I'm going to call your mom and see what she thinks about it. You sit there and just wait, Dash. It's a good thing that I have Mrs. Incredible on speed dial. Oh, hello, Mrs. Incredible. This is Dash's teacher, Edna. And we have a problem. Dash seems to have forgotten all of his school stuff today. There was a big project in our class, and he doesn't have any of his stuff. Oh, really? Well, don't worry. I'll have to talk to him when he gets home today. Sounds good. But guess what he said that happened to his school supplies, Mrs. Incredible? He's making excuses and saying that his baby brother Jack-Jack stole it all. I know that can't be true, because Jack-Jack is the greatest baby ever. He's trying to get his baby brother in trouble. Just wanted to let you know what's going on, Mrs. Incredible. Don't worry, Edna. I'll take a look around and get to the bottom of this. If I find his stuff, I'll bring it to school for him. Well, he only has a few minutes left, or he'll fail the class. All right, Mrs. Incredible. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Well, Dash, your mom said she needs some time to investigate. You're okay for now, but hopefully she finds your supplies. Yes. If you told her about Jack-Jack, then I know she'll find where he's hiding it. Well, we'll see about that. Jack-Jack, Dash said you took all of his school stuff and hid it somewhere. Did you, Jack-Jack? You love your brother Dash, and I know you don't want him to get into trouble. So let me know what happened. Did you do something naughty, Jack-Jack? <coughs> you silly baby. You did take everything. Where did you put them? <coughs> In the swimming pool? It's nice that you want to play with your brother, but you can't do that, or Dash will get in trouble. I'm going to get the rest of the family, and we're going to save the day. Okay, everyone, we have an important mission right now. We have to save Dash's school stuff. Jack-Jack is up to his silly baby tricks again. He threw all of Dash's school supplies in the pool. It's up to us to get everything back before Dash fails his class. Oh, no! He did that again? Yep, Jack-Jack did it again, Violet. So we have to go down and get Dash's stuff fast since teacher Edna is so upset. Now, there's three of us and there's three things to get in the pool. That's one for each of us. All right, Incredibles, on three. One, two, three. Elastigirl is first in the pool. Okay, Elastigirl, let's see you swim. Wow, Jack 
Blackjack put so many of Dash's things down here. That's so naughty. Now we know where Dash's fire truck is. But what about his glue? There it is. Mrs. Incredible, you got it. You saved Dash's glue. Edna will be so happy and so will Dash. I never knew how much stuff Jack Jack has thrown down there. We'll deal with that later. I better get this glue to Edna fast. Dash was telling the truth. Jack Jack hid all of Dash's school stuff in the pool. I have his glue right here as proof. Hmm, I see. You did find it. Maybe Dash wasn't lying. But he still doesn't have the rest of his school supplies. That means he's still going to fail the class, unless you bring me the rest of his stuff right away. Don't worry, Edna. We'll have it here as soon as possible. I need to get check on my family and see how they're doing getting everything else. Well, tell them he only has a few more minutes before the school is over. Okay, Edna. Be back soon. Your father is the bravest man alive. I hope he can find the rest of your stuff, Dash. Now it's Mr. Incredible's turn to take a dive to help Dash. Go ahead, see what you can find, Mr. Incredible. Do you see anything yet? Nothing? Well, keep swimming. Keep looking. That green ring looks pretty cool, but that's not Dash's. Keep going. There's all of Dash's toys. And what's that over there? It's Dash's notebook! He needs that really bad! You can do it! Take it to Edna as fast as you can! Finally! I got Dash's notebook! I better hurry to the classroom before it's too late! I'm coming, Dash! Wait for me! Edna! Teacher Edna! I got it! I found Dash's notebook! It was hidden by my baby Jack-Jack, just like Dash said. Here we go, Dash! It's all ready for your class! Wow, thank you, Mr. Incredible. Dash does need this. But if he doesn't get his stapler, he can't do this art project. No stapler, no project. Sorry, rules are rules, Mr. Incredible. Don't worry, Edna. Just give us a little more time. The stapler is the last item we have to find. And Violet is working on it right now. Don't worry, we'll have it here soon. Now, I have to go. We'll see if your family can save you, Dash. We'll see if you will pass this R project or not. Okay, I better go. I just hope Jack Jack didn't put any of my stuff under there. I have been missing a lot of stuff lately. I just hope it's not under the water. Yikes! Violet is a great swimmer and a good big sister for helping her brother Dash get his stuff so he doesn't fail his class. There's a lot of stuff under the water. Wait, there is the stapler. You found it. Now we're so close to saving Dash and saving the day. I got it, I got it. I have to get this to Dash soon. I can't be late or he'll fail. Okay, Dash, looks like you're going to run out of time. You have two items, but no stapler. Sorry, Dash. Wait, wait, wait! Teacher Edna, I'm here! I found it! I found the stapler! Jack Jack hit it deep in the pool, but I finally found it! Ah, very good! This is the third item. Yep! Good luck, Dash! Glad we found your stuff! I gotta get to my class now! Hmm, all right, Dash. I guess you were telling the truth. You did try to bring your supplies like a good student. And I see you have your lunch. It's a yummy hamburger. I guess since you were such a good student today, you can eat it now. Oh boy, I've been waiting all day for this. I'm starving. <coughs> Jack Jack, what are you doing here? <coughs> hey, my burger. Jack Jack took my burger! I told you, Edna! I told you this whole time! Jack Jack causes so much trouble, not me! I'm a good student, but Jack Jack is super silly! We're going to meet new friends and learn new things! It's going to be great! And the best part is we don't have to babysit Jack Jack anymore! Maybe you're right! Anything is better than babysitting Jack Jack when he's really cranky! 
Hey, do you hear that? Sounds like someone I know. Someone with tiny feet. <laughs> hey, Jack Jack, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. Go back to mommy and daddy. Go home, Jack Jack. We have to go to school. <laughs> what? Mom and dad said you can go to school with us today? That's not fair. It's our first day. You can't come. <laughs> okay, fine. You can go with us, but just this one time, okay? But remember, Jack Jack? You have to listen to whatever I say at school and be a really good boy. Only big boys go to school. Or else we'll have to go to the principal. So you have to be good. Now let's go, Jack Jack. Remember, stay right next to your big sister. Looks like the school bus is here and ready to pick up the kids. Hey, don't forget about me. Here I come. Okay, Jack Jack, we're at the school now. I don't know who our teacher is going to be. I hope we don't get a lot of homework. Either way, no matter what, just don't get us in trouble on our first day of school. Oh, here she is. It's Edna? Edna is our teacher this year. Hi, Miss Edna. Hello, children. Welcome to our school. I was expecting you, Violet and Dash, but I wasn't expecting your baby brother Jack-Jack at school today. Well, Edna, Mom and Dad sent him just this one day. I promise that it won't be every day. Just this one day. I love Jack-Jack. Jack-Jack is the smartest baby I know. Now let's get started with our lesson. So pay attention, class, because today we're going to learn about colors. Let's start with green like grass, orange like a Halloween pumpkin, and red like a stop sign. I'll be using my crayons to draw each of these colors. Wait, where are my crayons? I had a whole bunch and now they're all gone. What happened? They were right here, class. Did you see anything? No, we have no idea what happened, Miss Edna, sorry. Hmm. I must have left them by the pool during my morning swimming lessons. But I don't know what to do. I can't go in the swimming pool right now because I'll mess up my magnificent outfit. Any ideas, class? I have an idea, Edna. I could go get your crayons for you. I took swimming lessons all summer long, so I'm a great swimmer. Oh, darling, would you? You're wonderful. Thank you, Violet. Just try not to mess up your super suit or else I have to spend all day fixing it. But I need those crayons to teach the lesson. Hurry back now, darling. Be careful. Don't worry, I won't be long. Now, Dash, take care of Jack-Jack, okay? I'll be right back. Now for you, crayons. We need you to do our lessons. School is important. Here I come. Violet was right. She's a great swimmer. I hope she finds a crayon soon and isn't late for her lesson. Those aren't crayons, Violet. Those are pool toys. Keep looking. I know you can do this. You're an incredible. Oh, look. There's one. Get it for Edna. She'll be so happy that you found one of her crayons. Good job! Take it to the surface before you run out of air! Phew! That was exhausting, but so worth it! Now I have to bring it back to Edna fast! Here, Edna! I found it! I found a crayon! You did leave it by the pool, and the wind must have blown it inside the pool! Oh, thank you, darling. So, back to our lesson. Now, the first color we will use is green. This is the color green. I'm going to draw something on the board that is green, and you have to tell me what it is. Okay, I hope you've been studying this summer. Okay, we'll just draw some leaves up here. So colorful. This is looking great. I'm an even better artist than I thought. There, I'm done. Okay, class. Here's the picture with the color green. Boys and girls, let me know in the comments what you think this picture is. Right. Now, let's see if the class knows. Dash, 
time to show me how much you've been studying. Do you know what this is? Um, of course. That is a clown with green hair. What? Dash. No, it is not a clown. Now, I'll give you one more guess. What is this green thing I drew? Oh, I know now. I know. It's a piece of broccoli. I love broccoli. Mom and Dad made it last night for dinner. Delicious. No, no, no. Now, let me see if someone smarter than you in your family knows this. Okay, Jack-Jack, do you know what this is? <coughs> hmm? That's right! Good job, Jack-Jack! It's a tree! A tree! A tree is green, of course! You did good, Jack-Jack! But your brother Dash has a lot of work to do! Okay, moving on to our next color. We're going to mix something with the color orange. Now, where's that orange crayon? Huh? It's not here either! Oh, I suppose I left my orange crayon by the pool too! Oh, I can be such a mess! Alright class, we have another crisis at hand. We need to go find the orange crayon. Who will volunteer this time? <coughs> what? You wanna go Jack-Jack? That will be great! I know you can do it! Good luck Jack-Jack! Remember, orange! Okay, Jack-Jack, thank you for volunteering to get the orange crayon. Are you ready to go down? Woo! Whee! Bye-bye, <laughs> Floaty! You're a big boy! I know you love toys, and there are a lot of toys down here. But stay focused! You're a big boy, Jack-Jack. You can do this. You're doing great. Hey, is that it? You did it. You found orange. Now take it back up. I know you can hold your breath for a long time since you're a super baby. And I know you love to swim. Take this orange crayon so you can continue your lesson. Good job, Jack-Jack. You made it. Oh, thank you, darling. Thank you for the crayon. Now we can finally get back to our colors lesson. That's a good baby. Great job, Jack-Jack. Now go take a seat and we'll move on to our orange lesson. I hope you know all about the color orange. Let me see. What shall I draw? Oh, I got it. There we go. Orange is such a fascinating color. I love how bright it is. Perhaps I should make new suits that are orange. All done. Okay, class, here is my orange picture. Beautiful, I know. But who can tell me what it is? Boys and girls at home, let me know in the comments what you think this orange picture is. I know you know it, but what about my class here? Okay, Dash, do you know what it is? Come on, I know you have to know this one. You got it wrong last time. Can you get it right this time? Oh, I know, I know. That's the guy I made on Minecraft last night, right? No, Dash, I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, maybe my favorite student will know. Okay, Jack-Jack, I know you know the answer. What is this orange thing I drew? <coughs> That's right, it's a pumpkin. You were listening before, little boy. What a great job, Jack-Jack. Now only one more lesson for colors. You guys better start studying like your brother Jack-Jack. He knows all of the answers. You still have one more chance. And that will be with the color red. Let's see. Where is it? It's not here. No, I must have left my red crayon by the pool earlier too. Will one of my students go get it? I'll do it, Edna. Let me do it. Okay, Dash. You haven't been doing too good at school. But let's hope you can succeed in getting my red crayon. Can you save the day? Don't worry, Edna. You can count on me. If Jack-Jack can do it, then his big brother for sure can. Oh, brother. I hope he knows what he's doing. Jack-Jack thinks he's so cool in his floaty. Well, just wait till they see me in the school bus getting that crayon. 
I'm going to save the day. Ready? One, two, three, go! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that was so fun! And now it's time for business. Time to get Edna's red crayon. One, two, three. Wow, Dad sure is determined to save the day. He wants to make sure Edna knows he's a good student and a good hero. I hope he's right. Come on, Dash. You can find that crayon. There it is. You found it. You're so good at this, Dash. You did it. Now only one more thing to do. It's a good thing that you're such a fast swimmer. You can get back to Edna in no time. I did it! No one believed in me and I still did it. School is almost over. I hope Dash is back soon. I'm here, I'm here! I did it! I did it, Edna! See? I told you. I found the last crayon. Very good, Dash. You did it. But now I hope you can pay attention this time on the listen and get the right answer. Take a seat and I'll begin. Red. I'm going to color something red and you will tell me what it is. A little here. And some more red. Yes, marvelous. This looks fantastic. And done. Now Dash, the big question is just for you. You ready? What is this red picture? I think I know. It's... Um... I know! It's the water balloon I threw at Vala yesterday. You should have seen her face! <laughs> no, Dash! It isn't a water balloon! Look closely! It's an apple, silly! I'll take good care of Jack-Jack. And I'll also make sure Dash doesn't get us into any trouble. Okay, thanks, Violet. We'll be back soon. And remember, don't talk to any strangers who may come by. Just wait until me and your daddy get back. Ha 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 All of the grown-up superheroes have gone swimming. The only thing worse than the PJ Masks are the Incredibles. Their superpowers are amazing. Since there are no grown-ups around, time to finally try my evil plan to take the incredible superpowers once and for all. <laughs> Your kids look familiar. Of course, the Incredibles kids. Just who I was looking for. I'm good friends with Frozone and Etna. I was asked to bring you to my house because Etna has brand new Incredibles uniforms ready for you. She says they're fabulous. Sure, any friend of Etna is a friend of ours. And I'll especially go if Frozone is there too. He's so cool. Come on everyone, let's go. Oh no, mom and dad said to stay here until they get back. But Dash never listens. Edna will take care of us. Let's go catch up to Dash, Jack-Jack. Okay kids, we're almost there. All you have to do now is get in the elevator and it will take you to the secret floor where Frozone is waiting. Go ahead, everyone get in. Only one person can fit in each elevator. So go in the same time so you all get to Frozone. Here, I'll help you. Go in, Dash. Good. You too, Violet. It's a fun ride. You'll love it. And you, Baby Jack-Jack. Go in like your big brother and sister. Now, Everyone is settled. Time to go. Are you ready? <laughs> now you're locked up and you can't get away while I start my plans. Now for my secret keys to hide, I'm going to drop them where no one will ever find them. Ever. At the bottom of the deepest pool. No one will ever swim all the way down there to save them. This is my greatest plan ever! My baby Jack-Jack! Oh no! What are we going to do? 
Don't worry, dear. This is no problem for Mr. Incredible. I'll use my superpowers to solve this mystery and get our kids back in no time. You just stay here in case they come back. Oh no, Mr. Incredible. Just look at your poor kids. They're all locked up. Luna Girl did this and she hid the keys somewhere. But nobody knows where they could be. Don't worry, kids. Don't worry, Ellie. I am Mr. Incredible, and no villain has ever stopped me. I'll find those keys and I'll save those kids in no time. I'll be back before you know it. Mr. Incredible thinks that the keys are at the bottom of the pool. That's a good guess. He's going to swim all the way down there to try to find them. Shark can hold his breath for a long time. But he's a superhero, and superheroes do everything better. Did you find a key yet, Mr. Incredible? I think I see one. Awesome! And another! Wow, there are a lot of keys down here. Hurry up, Mr. Incredible. The kids need your help. Even superheroes can't hold their breath forever! Phew! You're up! I think I found it! I know how villains work, and they love secret codes! Let's see if I can crack this code and free the little Incredibles! Now, this key has a J on it! I know that one of my kids' names starts with J, but I just don't remember which one! This one? No! Doesn't seem like it. How about Jack Jack? I, I knew it all along, of course. J is for Jack Jack. Now I freed my little baby. Yay! We freed Jack Jack with Mr. Incredible's help. Jack Jack, how are you feeling? Good? Well, then, how do you feel about saving your brother or sister by getting us another key? That sounds great! Go ahead, Jack-Jack! I know you can do this, just like your good old daddy! As a matter of fact, I'd love to go with you! Let's go do this together, as father and son! You go ahead now, Jack-Jack! I'll stay up here and keep an eye out for you while you dive in! Okay, Jack-Jack! We're counting on you! You have to find a key that unlocks Violet or Dash's cage. We know you can do it, boy. You're growing up so fast. Look at all those keys. Use your superpowers to find the perfect one. I know you can sense it. That's the one? Then go up to the surface and try it out. Your daddy is waiting on you. Great job, Jack-Jack. Now let's take it to the cage and free one of your siblings! <laughs> Who do you want to try first? Violet or Dash? Violet? Okay, put the key in the lock and see if it fits! Nope! That isn't the right one! You have to try Dash's! I sure hope it works! And... It worked! Dash is free just like you! Thanks, Jack-Jack! You're the best baby brother ever! Now why don't you stay here with me and Daddy can find the key for Violet? We'll stay here and keep her company. Daddy can save her! Go, Daddy! Hooray! My boy is saved! That's two of them! But my little girl Violet is still locked up! I have to go down there quick and get the keys to rescue Violet! You can do this, Mr. Incredible! I believe you can do it! Do you know which key to get? Remember you figured out a code? The only one left is Violet! What letter does Violet start with? You got this! Now take it up to her when you're sure you got the right one! I can't wait to try it out! 
Here I come, Mr. Incredible to save the day. V is for Violet. This is it. And it worked. I saved all three of my kids. We all did it. Give me a thumbs up if you help save the Incredible kids. Good job, Mr. Incredible. You did it. Elastic Girl will be so happy that you rescued all of the kids. Let's go see her now. She'll be waiting. I think I finally figured out how to steal your powers. Huh? Where did you go? I didn't say you could leave. Oh no. I bet they use your powers to escape. I should have gotten power proof cages. My fire truck is sinking. And so is my construction truck. Did you see my school bus? Is there anyone who can help us get our trucks out of the water? There is only one person who can help us. Our friend Moana. Wow, Moana is the best swimmer ever. But where is she? Moana, can you hear me? The Paw Patrol needs your help. Wow, look, Moana is here. <coughs> Moana can save them. <coughs> Moana loves the water and she's a really great swimmer. Even better than a mermaid. If anyone can do this, Moana can. And look, Moana brought a friend to help too. It's Hey Hey. Hey Hey is Moana's pet rooster. <coughs> he thinks he can help Moana save the Paw Patrol pups. He's just so silly. But he's not the only one who came to help Moana. Another really amazing swimmer came too. It's Maui! Maui is a good friend of Moana's that helps her on her journey. He's super strong! Okay, now is everyone ready? Let's go! Moana can hold her breath for a very long time. I hope she can hold it long enough to find one of the Paw Patrol trucks. Did you find anything yet, Moana? Wow, it's the fire truck! Marshall's fire truck! Yay! Good job! Can you bring it to the surface? Are you strong enough, Moana? Wow! Moana is so strong to bring Marshall's fire truck out of the water. Marshall is going to be so happy when he sees it. Moana, since you saved Marshall's fire truck, you get a very special surprise. Are you ready for the surprise toy? Yay! It's a Paw Patrol mashup. Awesome! All the Paw Patrol pops are so amazing. Who did we get? It's Rocky! Rocky is the green pop from the Paw Patrol! Okay Paw Patrol fans, give me a big thumbs up if you know what kind of pop Rocky is. A police pop or a recycling pop? This Rocky toy is a masham, so he's super squishy. He's so fun to play with. Moana can even play with this in the water when she's swimming. Moana just taught Hey Hey how to swim, and he really wants to help. So he's going to try and save one of the Paw Patrol trucks that's underwater. Wow, I've never seen a rooster swim underwater before. Look at him go! Hey Hey is always doing super silly stuff, but he's acting very brave by swimming in the water. I see something. There it is, Hey Hey. Rubble's construction truck was floating at the top the whole time. Great job finding it. Now let's get it out and you can have a surprise toy. Hey Hey loves surprise toys. Hopefully he will know how to play with this one. It's a Disney Tintin mystery pack. Cool. Hey Hey.
Maya is a Disney character, and so is the character that's in here. It's Gus. Gus is one of Cinderella's good mouse friends. He's super nice and really silly. This one is a special edition because it's green. Gus is usually brown. That's so awesome! Hey Hey loves all of the Cinderella characters, but Gus is his favorite. That's so lucky that you got a Gus toy, Hey Hey. Awesome! Now only one more truck to save. It's the school bus. And Maui is going to save it. Let's go! Maui is a really strong hero from the Moana movie. He helps Moana save the world, so I know he can help her save the Paw Patrol school bus. I know it's around here somewhere. I know Maui can find it. Wait, there it is. Yes, awesome job. Maui is so, so strong to carry the bus all the way here. Maui saved the day again. Hooray! I hope he gets an extra special surprise toy. Nice! It's a Cars 3 series 1 blind bag. The Cars 3 movie is so much fun with all the fast race cars. Which character did we get? It's Natalie Certain. Natalie is a super smart car from Cars 3 that knows everything there is to know about racing. She's a red color and she drives really fast. But I wonder how fast she is. Is she faster than Lightning McQueen? Hmm, whose house is this? Maybe it's another one of our friend's houses. Let's take a look inside. Oh no! This is Chef's house. I knew one of our friends didn't live here. Chef looks really mad today. Hey, why is she using her evil telescope? Uh-oh, she's watching all of our friends having fun on the swings. I just thought of my most evil plan ever. But first, I have to go get ready. Wow, Chef is in her very own villain car. The Chef Mobile! This is what Chef drives when she's up to no good. Like when she chases Poppy and the Trolls. Give me a big thumbs up if you want to see Chef drive her green car. Moana and Skye are having so much fun on the playground today. But they didn't invite me. But don't worry. Now I'm going to drive to the playground and take Skye, Moana and Wooly back to my Bergen kitchen. Are you ready Chef Mobile? Let's go! Wow, Chef is really driving! But she doesn't look like a very good driver! I finally made it! Aren't I the best driver ever? And now I'm going to get Moana and her friends! We're inside a treehouse now! This is Sky's favorite secret hiding spot! Oh no! Chef found it! I hope Sky doesn't open the door! Oh, Sky, it's your best friend, Chef, and I have a special surprise toy just for you. Uh-oh, Sky came out. Don't believe Chef. She's just trying to trick you. Chef doesn't have a surprise toy for you. She wants to take you away. Okay, Chef. I'll be right there to get my surprise toy. <laughs> my plan is working. I knew Sky would fall for my trick. Hey, what's taking so long? Where did she go? There's Sky. She's climbing up the treehouse. I think she's trying to run away from Chef. Wow. Well, she's such a good climber. And she made it. <coughs> and look. She's on the slide. She's going to slide down into the pool of colorful balls. That's so awesome! Chef will never catch her now! Sorry, Chef, but Sky didn't fall for your silly plan. 
You can go back home now and leave our friends alone. Uh-oh, did you hear that? Oh no, it's Rolly. Now Chef knows that Rolly is inside the treehouse also. She's climbing up the rope to get Rolly. Look how fast she can climb the rope. She's like an evil Spider-Man. I found you now, Rolly. I knew there was somebody else up here. Now come outside. I'm gonna take you back to my Bergen kitchen. Hurry up. You can sit in the back of my chef mobile. <laughs> Sky may have tricked me, but this dog won't be able to. Hey, what's taking him so long? Where did Rolly go now? Wow, Rolly isn't falling for Chef's plan either. He slid down the slide to escape Chef. That's so cool. You lose again, Chef. But Chef isn't giving up yet. She's still looking for our last friend. Okay, boys and girls, do you remember who our last friend at the playground was? I know someone's in here. Come out before I get really, really mad. It's baby Moana. Oh no! Chef found her secret hiding spot. Run away, Moana! Moana ran to the slide too. Wow! That was a great slide. Right into the colorful balls. I know everyone is using the slide. But now I'm going to use the slide too and find everyone once and for all. They can't run away from me anymore. Ready or not, here Chef comes. That was so easy. And now all I have to do is slide down this slide. And then I'll catch all those pesky friends. This is my best plan ever. One, two, three. Whee! Oops, Chef didn't fall into the colorful balls. She landed in a pool of water. <laughs> hey, I hate swimming pools and I hate water. Now I'm all wet. My chef clothes are ruined. <laughs>